Today on Suncoast View, are less people headed downtown Sarasota than usual? Well, a new campaign wants to keep you on Main Street. We'll discuss. Our Royal Wedding Week continues, and invitations to the event involve a certain amount of etiquette, as do they to all events. We'll talk about trends with Right on Sarasota. And Venice Theatre wraps up the school year with a family musical about a little hero who sends a big message about love and caring. We'll have a preview of Stuart Little. All that and more right now on Suncoast View. Welcome to the show. Stephanie Roberts is off today and we have a big warm welcome to our two guest hosts today. We have Tracy Freeman of Edible Sarasota Magazine. Hello. And Hi, Tracy. And Candice McKellia of 360PR. Welcome. Hi. Thank so you. happy to be back today. Yes. Great and to, to meet see you guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love so many uh, so many introductions that I think would have happened before people in the community happened right here at this table. I yeah. Know. Because they've been on the streets of Sarasota. Well, that didn't come out right. <laughs> <laughs> they hey, been Linda. Been <laughs> <laughs> it's true, and I think you look familiar, but I think it's from being on The View, so we yes. actually never met until today. Yeah. Oh, how great. Nice well, to meet you. You, you both too. grace magazines, actually. Candace, we caught a copy of SRQ Magazine where you had a beautiful spread about you and uh, your coworker Alicia are women who roar. Tell us yeah. about this. So this is a really great initiative that SRQ Magazine does to really highlight women in business every year. And um, that's a little segment about Alicia. She's the Director of Public Relations at 360 with me. And she's been with the firm for four years. Wow. So really awesome. And we have a lot of similarities. We're both the oldest of three girls. Oh. And so it, we just really talk about how women, strong women have influenced our lives. and in professional ways and personal ways so that was fun oh how great and yeah so four years she's been with you when did you uh branch off on your own remind us so i started the firm in 2012 so wow. we're um about six years old really it's gone exciting. fast for I us know. yeah <laughs> it has gone you. fast it's amazing <laughs> to think that i started in my house mm -hmm. in a in you know the office of my house and now we're you know a bigger firm and growing and hiring and actually we have a new person starting today oh who is here goodness. watching wow. the view so yeah really exciting not a bad first day if i say I so know. myself I said that's <laughs> <of you. laughs> well congratulations and what a great spread and you Thank can see you. that on srq magazine which you can grab on stands now. Well, a great reason to be here, of course, is always the kitchen. And we want to welcome Stephen from Bricks Smoked Meats. What are we making? Thank you. Uh, today we're going to be making one of my favorite appetizers and side items that we do. Nice and light, Lone Star Caviar. Super simple, absolutely delicious. Caviar. Lone Star Caviar. Sounds wow. fancy, but I have oh, a feeling yummy. that it's some, um, some everyday ingredients put together. Anybody can make it. Everyday ingredients, okay, but wonderful. So caviar might be in quotes. It's, it, it <laughs> caviar. Lots of oh, beans. Oh, I see. Lots of okay. uh, corn. Lone I'm star. guessing, but you're, you you'll let us know later on. And I know that you have a big anniversary. Brix is celebrating one year. That's absolutely correct. So we're going to learn more about all that is happening at Brix this week when we join you a little later on. Brittany. Sounds yummy. Yes. All right. Well, speaking of food and yummy, we're going to continue that. Tracy, Edible Sarasota Magazine is always one of my favorites because it tells me all of the great things that I don't know are happening in the community. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the new issue you have right now. Um, this is our waste not issue and it's all things um, you know about recycling and food waste and what we can do as a community to combat it. Really important, yeah. very important. So it's, I love that it be, it's beyond just amazing recipes, which you also have, but it really is, there's a lot of socially conscious content always in the magazine. And really interesting recipes in this issue. Yeah. Um, you know, what do you do with the uh, tops of your carrots? Well, you can make carrot pesto. Oh, so, oh. Yeah, some really interesting ideas. Oh, great. And uh, Edible Sarasota got a very, very big honor that you announced, I saw on, on Facebook. Tell us what's coming up next year for you. Well, we got the bid to host the Edible Communities 2019 uh, annual meeting. Here? Oh. Here in Sarasota. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's big bucks for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be wonderful. There's 100 edibles across the country and in Canada. Um, so we won the bid this year. Wow. Um, it's been in New York in the past, in Nashville, Santa Barbara. So we're really excited to have it here. Oh That's exciting for you. It's exciting for us that oh, you're going to yes. be bringing all of those great-minded um, food writers and, and publishers here on the Sun Coast. 
They're going to love it. Are you I nervous? I'm not. I'm excited. Oh, We're going to have good. it at the Lido Beach Resort, so I can just imagine them all driving over the bridge. Oh, and wow. And yeah, restaurants will be very busy. Mm -hmm. yes. You bet. <laughs> and it's conferences like that that have that ripple effect where then maybe in a few years we start, we start to see more people vacationing here and, and even potentially moving here mm -hmm. because they right. fall in love Absolutely. with the area. Absolutely. And Visit Sarasota is, you know, on board with us to make it the most successful event ever. So That's we're excited. Great. Well, in addition awesome. to bringing, you, and you can keep an eye on um, EdibleSarasota.com for all of the events I'm sure that will be leading up to that big event next year. And in, in addition to bringing all the amazing food writers here, you also bring some really cool things. Like today, part of, <laughs> I imagine, your waste, uh, your waste not um, issue, you brought some glass straws. So beyond just being really cool utensils, <laughs> these have a more important kind of social value. Tell us about the... The, uh, the new initiative. The new initiative uh, it was with Rethinking Plastics and Chess Collaborative, um, and it's called Skip the Straw Suncoast. Um, a lot of restaurants have now, you know, joined up onto this, and we are eliminating plastic straws in all of our restaurants across the community. Wow. Great, great idea. And I don't get lipstick on the cup, Joey. <laughs> Joey You're very excited really about that. Joey really is bothered <laughs> by my lipstick on the cup. No, no lipstick because I have a straw. And they're really nice. Yes. And they're very substantial and... Well, and yeah, and I've got a little sea turtle on mine. I know, just I noticed because, that. You know, they, they mistake the plastic straws for food and they ingest them gotcha. and you know it's a 50 percent mortality rate every time that they do so it's really important and we've seen i know moat um, has been trying to tackle this awareness as well mm -hmm. with showing just how all of the different plastic and garbage mm -hmm. that goes into the ocean can injure you know they've pulled straws out of turtles noses and things like that um saint pete had a big initiative of skipping the straw so it's really nice to see yes. that cool. that initiative is starting down here Maybe not everyone needs a straw i was saying before that uh, a relative of mine used to <laughs> refuse straws for everyone at the table even before asking anybody <laughs> <laughs> yes ice that. water and no one needs a straw and we thought, huh? only well, the turtles loved it <laughs> yes. i mean i always ask for a straw specifically because I don't want to drink off the cup, but mm -hmm. this is such an excellent idea to combat that mm -hmm. mentality. Yeah, but it's hard learning all of this because, yes. if, you know, I have to watch my single plastics and sure. I'm now right. using the same fork five times. And well, it's really <laughs> important. <laughs> Washing yeah. it in between, it of course. Time. Yes, <laughs> emptying the garbages at work, taking all the plastics out, so it's yeah. like kind of into my head. Well, I think yeah. as everyone thinks, so, you know, it's just it's just a straw. It's just a straw. Right. But this is really one of those examples of what can one person do. Right. Well, if you stop using yep. a straw or you carry a, a reusable one, that can have an exponential uh -huh. and effect. And it could kill one turtle. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Well, thank you for making us a little more socially conscious yeah, in bet. addition to giving us great recipes. So check out Edible Sarasota this month's mm. issue for <laughs> more on that. Well, it is time for our first hot topic. And as many of the Sun Coast's seasonal visitors head back up north, one Sarasota neighborhood is making a plea to the locals. The Downtown Merchants Association is starting a new campaign to bring full-time residents into downtown Sarasota and Main Street businesses. They're hoping to launch a marketing campaign to highlight the restaurants, the shopping, and of course the nightlife. With Snowbirds gone, the group wants to remind the locals that downtown is getting lost compared to other neighborhoods. Hmm. All right, what do we think? I mean, does downtown need this push for the locals? We all live here. Do you? Do you yes, I think so. I go to PJ's and Panache weekly, <laughs> I'm a big shopper downtown. Uh, so I love going down there. But then you see fewer people because they're going to the mall. Right. So we do need to promote downtown. So some of the new people, the vacationers, wouldn't even know it's down there. Right. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think it's always a good idea to promote your local mom mm -hmm. and pop business owners. And there's very charming shops there and great yes. restaurants. Yes. Everybody has a mall, but nobody's got a downtown. That's like right. Yeah. I agree. Do we think with all of the development, I mean, we're seeing condos up on almost every corner. Is that, do you think that's making some of us locals afraid to drive downtown because oh, there's going to be no parking or detours or, mm -hmm. or whatever issue. Absolutely. It deters us from coming downtown. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I make the circle and look for parking places on Main Street, but then there are garages that are like a block away mm -hmm. right. uh, and you can just park and, and zoom down there. Mm -hmm. So it really takes me less than three minutes to get from the parking garage to the store and right. I've got an outfit in my hand. That's true. <laughs> we have great parking garages. Yes. And I, you know, I'm, I'm just as guilty of if I hear a business closes, I think, oh man, that's too bad. But then yeah. I ask myself, well, when was the last time that I went? Right. Because right. especially if there's all of this construction downtown, um, the businesses need us more than ever, yeah. actually. Yeah. You know, yeah. the, all those signs, reminder, we're open, we're open. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Savor Sarasota kicks off on June 1st. So mm -hmm. that's 95 local restaurants that will be offering all kinds of specials at lunch and dinner. So yes. 
a great reason to visit all those restaurants that you can't get to in season. <laughs> it's a love great that reminder, event. and that yes. is love coming that up, event. and it is so many downtown restaurants, and it's a really great yeah, deal. It is. It really it is, is a awesome. wonderful deal, and we'll have a little more on that as we get closer to that first week of June. All right, royal wedding season continues, and our big push this week continues. It's only four days away, but it seems that not everyone is thrilled about it. Meghan Markle's father told TMZ that he will not be attending his daughter's wedding. He does not want to embarrass her or the royal family. He was recently outed as having staged his own paparazzi shots of himself sitting and preparing for the wedding. And now the royal palace is asking for understanding in this unfortunate event. This comes just a few weeks after Meghan's own brother expressed some concerns about the wedding, only to retract them later. If Meghan's dad doesn't make it to the ceremony, many are wondering who will walk her down the aisle. What do you think about this? Oh, oh she's on. just like the rest yeah. of Give them. Give the guy a break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, it's her dad. We've all been through <laughs> things mm -hmm. like that. And if you watch The Crown, you know all the royals have been through things like that. Right. They've got some pretty yes. creepy it's characters. Yes, it's true. It wasn't such a tidy history for the royal family. On the it's scale of scandals, uh -huh. it's not that bad. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Exactly. I mean, and on. we've all had it. When my stepdaughter got married, at the last, I planned the wedding. At the last minute, her mother said, I'm not going to Flint. Wow. Uh, so I said I won't go and then she came over to me and she said I appreciate how good you are to my children please come so it ended very nicely because she was a nice person mm -hmm. but after the ceremony we <laughs> all went back the to the hotel oh, <laughs> and, and we were all at the end of the night we were all crowded in a hotel room just talking and suddenly I looked around and I said look but on one side, first wife on the other side, second <laughs> wife on the other side. Isn't this nice? <laughs> so cozy. <Yes>. So cozy. <laughs> but you make a good point, though, that, you know, it just goes to show that Megan is just really, I mean, she's a, she's a TV star, but beyond that, she really is kind of like the rest of us. Yes. We yeah. all, I think at some point, especially when we're getting our families together, mm -hmm. there's always one aspect of your family or maybe a relative that you're just a little crossing your fingers that they don't embarrass you. I was one afraid aspect? you weren't going to say <laughs> aspect. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a lot of those. Yeah, well, you know what they say, if you're not embarrassed of someone in your family, then you're the one that they're embarrassed of. Is yeah, the it's definitely been me a few times. Yeah. <laughs> but people have also been getting very creative with who will walk a bride down the aisle. I was at a wedding last yeah. year where actually her mother gave the bride away, and it was beautiful to watch the mother walk mm -hmm. her down. Well, you know, in Judaism, mm -hmm. um, the mother and father walk the bride down, so I think it's a great idea Yes, to that's have. so much I mean, fairer. the mother does a yes. lot, so yes. come on. <laughs> <laughs> and that probably started the father back in the days when daughters were like property or something. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're, we're going to keep an eye on, uh, um, but Megan, we're pulling for you. Yeah, we are. Well, speaking of, the countdown to the royal wedding is on, but just because your invite may have gotten lost in the mail doesn't mean that you can't celebrate in style. Here are some amazing pieces of memorabilia you can actually find and order online, starting with the oh Harry boy. and Meghan <laughs> banner, because every oh home every home is missing oh multiple boy. faces. <laughs> <of the banner. laughs> A royal wedding commemorative t-shirt, Diana and Kate and Meghan. I kind of like this, the progression I of like princesses. Here is a Harry and Meghan prayer candle set. I guess. I don't know. Sure, Something I'm about have that, that in my house. <laughs> We're just praying the wedding goes okay, I guess. Yeah. And then I love this this button when Harry met Megan. Obviously, a play on when Harry That's met cute. Sarah. Isn't that cute? There's also, if you would like your wedding rings, commemorative breakfast oh cereal. <laughs> and Do they have to get permission on all these things? And it should have been me. Oh, that one I like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That one I like. Because it should have been me. <laughs> 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 Guess he doesn't like older women. <laughs> no, well, I mean, no, sorry. Sorry, Linda, you're out. But you can still get a mug as a consolation prize. I'll take it. And all of those <laughs> items are available on various like Etsy and, and Tumblr accounts, That's and so uh, we'll, we'll share that with you. All right, it is time for our happy hour forecast. And when we come back, how to invite your party guests in style with trending invitations. Good afternoon, I'm Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Some dry air has circled around this system out in the Gulf of Mexico and that has really limited the shower activity along the coast, but things are starting to pop this afternoon. You can see that line of storms with quite a bit of lightning and heavy rainfall located southwest of Sarasota and Venice pushing off to the northeast at around 20 to 30 miles an hour. Elsewhere, inland storms moving just to the east of Arcadia are rather intense too. But nothing going on right along the immediate coastline, at the exception of a few showers, as I said, in the eastern portions of Manatee County with the heaviest weather by far uh, just east of Arcadia. So we'll continue to watch that area to the west. I think Lombo Key, Siesta Key, Lido, you'll be getting some rainfall here 
in just a short period of time, more than likely within the next, uh, I would say, hour and a half. And then we'll continue to see other showers popping up in the Gulf during the overnight hours, bringing some moderate to heavy rainfall at times. Weather complete forecast. Let you know what the rest of the work week is going to be like today at 5. The first excitement of the royal wedding is when the invitation with the Queen's gold stamp arrives in the mail. But if you somehow got left off that guest list, you can present your own events with very elaborate invitations. Eileen Wallace from Right on Sarasota is here with invitation ideas and trends. But first, you can pose as if you're with the royals. Eileen, you brought some very famous people with you today. Aren't they great? Oh, yes, it's Meghan and Harry yes. on our show. You get a selfie. You gotta get a selfie. Yes, yeah, yes. We, we had an event on First Street week before last. And I had these developed, and so every we have a lot of royals in town, so meaning the Brits, mm -hmm. and so they were coming in and doing selfies. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was so, a lot so of they fun. can get this pair for their own party? They can. You, we do that. We have that done. We've done it for a hundredth anniversary party, and this woman was a hundred years old, and her daughter brought in a picture when she was 29 and gorgeous. So we had it blown up at six feet, and oh. that greeted everybody when they came. Oh my greeting. goodness! <laughs> so, so there's. A a lot of etiquette involved mm. in invitations. What are some of the rules? You know, today it's not as, as strict as what it was before. <laughs> so I think um, a lot of the etiquette are more guidelines. It's, it's always about good manners. Uh -huh. And so in the beginning, there was always the, the mother and father inviting everybody to the wedding. And sometimes there's so many mixed families at this point. Oh, yes. It's better to say together with their families. It's easier mm. at times to do that. Mm. So that's one of the things that mm -hmm. I can think of right off the top. I always wonder how early they should go out. Really, uh, if you do a save the date two months before, it can be six weeks, mm -hmm. but not, not later than that. So the save the date can go out up to a, a year ahead of the event. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, it's, that's one thing. We didn't used to have save the date. So yes. that's something a little different than what we had years ago. Now, you brought us some beautiful examples here of invitations. Mm -hmm. Tell us something about these lovely things. Well, you know, sometimes it, it, when I first started the business, we would say, your save the date really sets the stage for the wedding. Mm -hmm. So it can be fun. It doesn't have to be anything very formal. Today, there's a little, it's different. The gals come in and they say, I've got the pictures of the wedding uh, party and what they're going to wear. I have colors in mind. So in, in one event, there's the Ann and Jeff I think you're looking at now. Mm -hmm. The bride fell in love with that, that design. So we carried that theme through the whole thing. So that was the save the date. And then there was the wedding invitation that was pretty tailored, but her lining was the flowers. So it just added just something different when the people opened the envelope. And then it went all the way through to her program, which you'll see at the end. So that was, and even at the bar at the, at the event, the whole thing was this huge pink flower. Then there's other things um, that a lot of the weddings that happen here are at the beach. Yes, and some they people are. want it to reflect the beach and mm -hmm. other people don't. So if they want that, there's the one with the big starfish. Mm -hmm. It's just beautiful and different. Yeah. The, the one next the yeah, and a lot of gold foil is mm -hmm. being used now too. Yeah, yeah. And so there's letterpress, there's engraving, there's all methods of printing, there's all kinds of things you can do. The one next to that that has a lot of gold on it, that was um, a Hindu wedding that we did. And it was so interesting because the, the dynamic of it was that it went on for days and that it was a very mixed social group. So you had to have it reflecting what was going on for uh -huh. their event. So it was really interesting. That is fascinating. And they're all so different. Uh, mm -hmm. You have to pre pick the one that is you and yeah. very special for your event. That's of great. course, you do other events other than weddings. You said 100 years old. Yes. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm more likely to have that one than the wedding one. Yeah. So. I love the one that is in front of you with oh, the envelope. You mentioned about the different um, embossing in the envelope. Right. Tell us about oh, this. That's cool. This, this is really neat. It, um, the wedding was at the Ritz in Philadelphia. And so the, the event going on behind this is Billy Penn, which is at the top of uh -huh. the, the city hall in Philadelphia. So they captured, the, this was two gentlemen, and they captured that picture, and so we decided to use it for that. And then, so that's the lining, and then um, this was the invitation, and it's letterpressed, and it has copper around it. 
It's just beautiful. Can you imagine the Ringling Bridge on, oh. on the oh, inside great of an idea, envelope? Joey. Or, or mm -hmm. Suncoast View on the inside of an envelope. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's even down I to like the that. envelope. Yeah. So as we walk through to the programs mm -hmm. for the actual ceremony, mm -hmm. um, I know Candace has a very interesting, she's uh, holding a very interesting oh, program. Tell us about this. Well, um, this bride said it was going to be very warm during the wedding, so she wanted to have a fan. And, and we said, well, why not put the, the ceremony in, on there so there wouldn't be a ceremony program, per se. There would be a fan. Such oh, a cool idea. Isn't that great? We could have given great. a Suncoast View fan. Yes, we <laughs> could. <laughs> I, I, I love think the that may be better. It's uh, kind of oh, pearlized. look what Joey it's, found. It is. It's a shimmer. And Beautiful. Yeah. So again, about connecting the envelope and everything, this is great. Tell us about this one here. Well, I think that was so the bat mitzvah, and so it's plastic. Aww. So it doesn't have to be paper, it can be plastic. And we're also doing other things that are acrylic. This was yes, a party wow. out in the Aspen, cool. and that, that was New Year's Eve. Oh, lovely. And that so just makes you want to go. Yeah. 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 Really yeah. Yeah. This really and sets the tone. You know this is going to be a good party. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. Well, you're a famous lady. You're in a magazine, right? We are. It's just really nice. Um, I'm part of a group um, that meets every time we go to market. We meet for breakfast a couple of hours. And there's 101 of us across the United States, and they asked me if and we get this magazine, we put it together, and they asked if I would do this wedding gifting oh, idea nice. uh, article. So that's what I did, and it was just loads of fun. Oh, and great. Because they, they asked me particularly for the millennials. What do you give the millennials? It's like, it's difficult. They don't oh. want sterling. <laughs> yes. They don't want china. They don't want crystal. So you, so you got the secret. We, we think oh, we great. have We've something anyway. magazine. <laughs> Thank you so much. And you can find them, of course, right on Sarasota, <laughs> online, and on First street in downtown Sarasota. Next, some good news from Goodwill. Hi, I'm Janelle Hale, founder and CEO of the National Breast Cancer Foundation. No one should face breast cancer alone. When I was diagnosed 36 years ago, there was no internet, and I had to make a decision with little information. Early detection saved my life. It could save yours too. To learn what every woman needs to know about breast cancer, visit nbcf.org slash hope. Runs as art. You know the name. You know the building. But do you know what's inside? Yes, Rugs as Art is Florida's number one area rug superstore. But there is so much more. Amazing furniture, accessories, and art. All this and more. Come see for yourself. You'll love our personal touch and be pleasantly surprised by our affordable prices. Rugs as art and more. There is so much more to explore. If you're only hungry for a slice of apple pie, why buy the whole pie? And you certainly wouldn't want to pay for an all-you-can-eat buffet. So if you don't use your cell phone that much, why get charged for a plan that's too big or even an unlimited plan? Luckily, there's still a wireless company that shares your values. Welcome to Consumer Cellular. Our average customer pays about $25 a month for everything they need. Many pay even less as plans start at just $15 a month. You'll get a straightforward bill that's easy to understand with no surprises and all the attention you deserve from our friendly customer service team. No wonder Consumer Cellular has received the J.D. Power Award for highest customer service four times in a row. Plus, if you're an AARP member, you'll receive special discounts. It's easy to switch. You can even keep your phone and your number. So stop paying for more than you need and start your 30-day risk-free trial today. Call 800-457-2317, go online, or visit a Target store today. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was and some additional cancers that were not found during the biopsy. I would recommend the Detoli Cancer Center. As a group of human beings, they are unbelievably great. A 2017 U.S. News and World Report of high school graduation rates in the U.S. shows Florida coming in dead last. However, students who do not complete high school can get a second chance by earning their GED. 
In today's Good News from Goodwill, Vice President Veronica Brandon Miller is here with Mike Bryant to talk about a scholarship fund to help students get a GED. All right, Mike, you started this program in 2015 with the Rick and Connie Fawley Scholarship Fund. Tell us why that fund was established. Sure. Um, Rick was my friend for 30 years and my business partner for 22. We both founded Fawley Bryant Architecture. And he passed away suddenly in 2015, about six months after his wife had passed. So I, so I wanted something to honor his legacy. Um, and I talked to Bob uh, Rosinski at Goodwill and Veronica. And because Rick was a board member for, gosh, 15 years or so, mm -hmm. um, we thought, and they had a need uh, for, uh, for their, their employees to get their GED because they have over 600 employees and a high percentage of them don't have their GED. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, mm -hmm. so Rick was all about education. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we started, a, we pledged $50,000 towards yeah. seed money toward, to start that well, and scholarship that, program. That's and fantastic and obviously so needed. Veronica, it then grew from there. Tell us where it went after that. Right. So at that time, there was 35% of our employees who did not have a, a high school diploma mm -hmm. equivalent. So because of this, they can be, work on the job and get their GED. Then Mike came back and said, what else can we do? Because people still weren't taking advantage of this, right? Right, uh -huh. exactly. So we opened it up through anyone coming in through our job connection. Oh. But wait, there's, there's more. more. <laughs> this is exciting. <laughs> so uh, latest evaluation, we realized, yes, I mean, th th those that need this, um, have so much else going on. They're worried about child care, they're, they're worried about transportation, there's other things. And they don't see the end, they mm -hmm. don't see the end. And we see a little gap of those who start at the GED. So Mike Bryant came and said, what can be that carrot? What can help them get to the next level? And right here on the show is the first time you're gonna hear it, that yes, if you come in and, and uh, start the GED pr process, the second you're finished, we will help, thanks to the uh, Folly Scholarship uh, Program, pay for your certification at MTC. So you actually have oh that gosh, certification. Awesome. You can see the end of the tunnel. Um, you can be. Uh, this is you Manatee know, Technical College. This exactly. is huge. So this now is you, huge. Have, you will have yeah. a, a ticket to a trade, basically. Oh, oh yeah. My gosh, because uh, statistics show in 2020, at least two thirds of the population will need a certification or at least associate's degree. Wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, well, and there's such a labor shortage here mm -hmm. on the Gulf Coast. Yeah. I mean, that's huge. It's, it's going to really add needed. to that. Yeah. yeah. This is amazing. This is great news, and yeah. this is truly an example of people kind of putting putting the money where the mouth is. Yes. And this is going to be huge for the Sun Coast. Thank you for all you do. We can always use some good news. And if you'd like to learn more about the Good Futures program awesome. and see more good news from Goodwill, you can go to their website, experiencegoodwill.org. Coming up next, party planning help from a St. Armand's Circle boutique. Excuse me a minute. Hi, Dad. No, don't try to get up. Hi, I'm Julie, a right-at-home caregiver. And if I had been caring for Tom's dad, I would have noticed some dizziness that could lead to balance issues. That's because I'm trained to report any changes in behavior, no matter how small. So Tom can have peace of mind. We'll be right there. We have to go. Hey, Tom, you should try right at home. They're great for us. The right care, right at home. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. My credit score was not that great. I didn't understand what went into my credit score. It was overwhelming. Do you want to attain better credit health but don't know where to start? Credit Sesame can help by providing you a free credit score. I love the app. It's so easy to use. It's like having a, your own financial coach. Credit Sesame broke my credit score down into things that I understood and it made me think, I can do this. And the awesome thing about Credit Sesame, it's free. It's 100% free. You don't need to go it alone. Get started today at CreditSesame.com. If you're looking for the perfect trip that allows you to spend quality time with the family, then discover the great outdoors on an Alabama Black Belt adventure. 
Create unforgettable memories while hunting, canoeing, camping, and more. Or challenge yourself on Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, now celebrating 25 years. And while you're here, enjoy a Deep South dining experience. Book your adventure in one of our members' lodges or stay at the Renaissance Montgomery Hotel and Spa. Start planning an Alabama Black Belt adventure today. I took my first handful of pills and that's when all my priorities seemed to change. He would ask to use the bathroom in other people's homes. He just assumed that they would have medication. He'd go in their medicine cabinets and steal prescription drugs. I wish I knew really what these prescription pills were. We were so naive about the whole drug thing. These are all synthetic forms of heroin. Keep your medication locked up because you'll never notice that a pill is gone. Mind your meds. Learn more from the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. Meet Blue. Blue's not feeling well. The prescription? Generic medication. Blue wonders, do they really work as well as name brands? Yes, generics and name brand medications do work the same. Even though they may look different, generics have the same key ingredients. FDA approval is equally rigorous for generics to make sure they're as safe and effective as name brands. And Blue even saves some green, making him a little less, well, blue. Talk to your doctor about generics and visit FDA.gov slash generic drugs. Welcome back to Suncoast View. Our royal wedding week is continuing, but first we want to check in with Stephen from Bricks Smoked Meats. Let's talk. This is your one year anniversary celebration going on. That's right. Tomorrow is our official one year anniversary. And uh, right now we're doing some stuff to thank the community. Thanks, Sarasota, for welcoming us so uh, warmly. We're doing happy hour. Uh, all day long from open to close That's all the way That's a great to the way to start, end. yeah. That's great. That's food <laughs> and drink items. I brought some of those today. Uh, we rolled out a brand new beer that we're doing that's made by Darwin Brewing Company for us called Big uh, Bricks Big Red Ale. Uh, we have some uh, contests that you can do through Facebook. You sign up through our Facebook page. And then tomorrow we're also doing our anniversary dinner where we're having a little bit of a, a, a prefix menu, like a set menu. Wow. We invite people in. They sit down, have a great time, talk about the beer, eat great food. Wonderful. Have well, fun. It's, it sounds like a great anniversary, and we're lucky because you've been here for a full year. If you would like to know some more information about the anniversary, it'll be going through this whole week. You can go to the website BricksSmokedMeats.com or find them on Facebook, and we'll be joining Stephen a little later on. All right, Candace. Well, a royal celebration across the pond is a great reason to throw a royal event of your own right here on the Sun Coast. Whether it's a wedding watch party early Saturday or another special occasion, Barbara Pugliese from Just Because Sarasota on St. Armand Circle is here to help us plan our own party. Welcome. Hi. So I'm super interested. You see a lot of visitors on St. Armand's. Right. Is there a lot of interest in this weekend? There event? is. There's a lot of interest and everyone has lots of questions and they're getting excited. So it's awesome. I yeah. love your spread. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I've got the sandwiches. I, right, so we're not going to go hungry. And um, we're going to start here at the end. So you can either host the watch party or have a party later. The royal couple's having two parties, so oh. we should oh, too. too. Yeah. <laughs> so proper attire is always a hat or a fascinator, and these hats come from Casa Smeralda. So really pretty. The girls should be in hats, and you should have covered um, arms too. Oh. Yeah, no yeah. exposed yeah. arms and no open toes. But You have a nice fascinator. Yeah, I have a little fascinator. I didn't go too crazy, <laughs> but yeah. Really pretty. And I like these hats seem to be a little bit more dignified than the coming off the derby where it was a right. little larger. A little larger. <laughs> and the rule of thumb too is it should never be too big in church mm -hmm. so that someone can't see what's happening. Oh, yes. ah. So it should oh. be able to like your guests behind you can see in front. Um, so always be aware of that with I'm your hats. I'm guessing most of our parties will not be in church. No, I don't think so. So go as big as you want. <laughs> So then once you kind of get your decor or what you're wearing, think about your decor. White roses were Diana's favorite. Oh, so, so it's important pretty. to have the white roses and Miss Markle's favorite are the peonies. So it's kind of nice to tie those in and I love these expandable vases. These are the best I have not uh, Yeah, seen these there. are awesome. So they come perfectly flat and then they'll hold a whole bouquet of flowers and you can use them over and over. And I did white because it was a royal party, but they come in colors and so oh. forth. And they're great. They're less than $10. Do too. you have water in there? Yep, yeah. so there's like they're half filled the with water and these roses are heavy flowers yeah. and they hold them perfectly. So oh, that's they're great. They're very strong. Yep, they're very Who strong. Would Who would have known? <laughs> and it's nice to kind of tie in that tradition with the flowers that you're mm -hmm. picking mm -hmm. too. Yes. And then you should have the royal wedding a picture of them somewhere <laughs> of the oh. royal couple. So these oh, frames yeah. are really beautiful. It's an artist from Dallas and they're inspired by his grandmother's jewelry. Oh. 
So they're very ornate and kind of brooches his grandmother wore all the time. So he does a lot of Austrian crystals and very elaborate um, mm. pieces on them, very which I love. And we were learning yesterday too that just a, a touch of gold, a touch, touch of gold, of gold placed can really be very elegant. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't need to go overboard with it, but a little accent of it is really pretty, and especially with a little sparkle too. Yes. It kind of just dresses it sparkle. up. I, you, you can't have enough sparkle, <laughs> is my feeling. <laughs> and then um, afterwards, you would have at the beginning of the um, party some type of cocktail. Now the queen mother loves champagne so we should have Let's champagne right Why and then I argue? put uh, the little syrup in the glass first and then we have these cocktail um, candies which are really cool they, these are called uh, golden roses Those are um, royal roses there's peach bellinis um, I'm gonna yeah. pass these you, down you put these in yeah so you drop one Dropping in your in. cocktail and first and bit. it fizzes a little um, and then you make your cocktail afterwards and they're really tasty mm. so the Bellini one you can if you're making exactly. Bellinis yep and you just kind of plop it in and oh, then it'll nice. start to fizz and it's a little surprise on the bottom a too. A fun garnish. A and fun little garnish. The syrup is what uh, makes the Bellini? Yep the syrup right so I use this raspberry you could use blackberry and then just with a little dot of champagne mm. with it which is really nice and like I said the Queen Mother has champagne every day so, so really? should we. Every day? Yep every day they and say she really finishes. Healthy. She is. And she <laughs> in the has morning or in the afternoon? She has it at the evening <laughs> and a cocktail at lunch time. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah, so she has a cocktail at lunch and then she finishes her day with champagne. It's so good I think to be we a all queen. should. Okay, it is good to be a queen. And those that. gummies come in mm. um, other flavors. Other and flavors, shapes. yep. So there's a champagne one, the Bellini, the Royal Roses. There's also one that's a rose rose. Oh. Um, so oh, if you have I a like little, yep, yeah, these are great too. So if you have like a little rose um, wine, put that in the yeah, glass first. That so they can see oh, that. And then do that, yeah. And they're beautiful side. little roses. Mm -hmm. I don't really know if we can pretty. see yeah, that, but really, see the um, they're, they're really so pretty. nice. Oh so we say they're gourmet candies for adults. Oh, yes. <laughs> and all right. of these things, just to remind everyone, yep. are, have been found on St. Armand's Right, Circle. so you the best part about everything here is you can <laughs> shop local on St. Armand's, shopping small and local. These came from the ancient olive gourmet. Mm -hmm. So they have mm -hmm. more other things besides olives, oh, you nice. know, and olive oils. Oh. They have great alcohol and the candies and the syrups we and so forth. We cannot move past the glasses, no. though. No. no. So this is the best part. Because they're full, but I can show you here. Explain how great these are. These are awesome. So on one side, you can have your cocktail to start with, and when you move on through your meal. Um, Miss Markle's favorite is a full red wine. Just flip the glass that over so and cool. get your bottle of red wine. I Isn't that cool? So it's a two for one. Two for one. So two the for one. The yeah. stem. And that right. means though if you start with the martini, you're going to have to finish it right. before yes. you flip it yeah. over you to the right. wine. So it's easy for your <laughs> guests too if they're walking around. So it's easy to kind of walk and these drink and These are great so if forth. you can only keep one set of glasses right. somewhere, like maybe, yes. you know, wherever. Right. These are they perfect. They don't take up a ton of room. Mm -hmm. So I love those glasses. And like I said, as you're kind of continuing through the meal um, her favorite is a full-bodied red so that's oh. perfect oh, yes. Yes. yeah and then mm -hmm. oh, oh tea sandwiches super important we have salmon and cucumber a nice um, coronation chicken salad so for your party you should have proper right. tea and a flag yes and you should have the Union Jack somewhere on there <laughs> oh, so yep. where and are the flags yes where do uh, get that? Uh, we got those out on the circle too and then the little napkins uh, came as well so you can kind of make it a little festive with that oh, which yes. I love and then dessert this is super important too so their wedding cake cake is elderflower and lemon. And so I did many little cakes with fresh flowers. So the little yes. buttercream, I took the uh, Saint Germain oh. and put that in. Super good. And the garnish on yeah. these. Yeah. Too. yeah. Here, and right, then I'll she's having fresh and flowers too. Would you, would you like? Thank you very much. Oh, sorry, what is this garnish? Uh, so this is a hydrangea, but her their wedding oh. cake is going to be covered with fresh okay, flowers. <laughs> oh. So that was the importance of that. And so the inside of the cake is lemon, and then the buttercream has the elderberry, oh. just like them. So. And um, a, oh. a dessert from desserts. Yes. <laughs> so at every formal occasion at the end, we get a favor. Uh, William and Kate gave all their um, guests scarves. So here we oh. have little um, beautiful macarons and uh, handmade chocolates from little macaron. And they're inside those favors. Oh. So everyone wow. can part oh. your guests. These are everyone really should have a gift when they leave. Right yes. Wow. That's awesome. These are wonderful. And Barbara, we should remind everyone that Ladies' um, Night, there's a another great reason yep. to go this week. It's every third Thursday, Thursday. every month on St. Armand Circle. Circle. And you get this 15% week, off. 15% so. off at all of these participating stores yeah. so you can plan your entire party. And all you have to do is look for the balloons outside your favorite stores right. to see who has special sales. You can find out more information at St. Armand Circle uh, Ladies' Night on Facebook. All right, coming up next, a preview of a family musical. From Venice Theater, we're going to meet Stuart Little. We're going to hear Stuart sing. ABC 7, the Suncoast's official Florida lottery station.
Peterson Toyota of Sarasota offers hundreds of models to choose from. And now you can take your shopping experience to the next level with SRQ+. You'll love its added benefits exclusively at Peterson Toyota of Sarasota or toyotaofsarasota.com. Get all the local information you need before you leave home in the morning. Watch Good Morning Sun Coast weekdays on ABC7 to get breaking news plus first alert weather and traffic focused on where you live. ABC7, we're here for you. This is an ABC7 News Update. Hello, I'm Scott Dennis. Here's what's coming up at 5 o'clock. A new charter school proposal, the center of controversy at tonight's Sarasota County School Board meeting. My protesters are urging board members to vote no on the school. Plus, how a new program is working to have all Manatee County students proficient in reading by the end of third grade. Let's get a check on our weather now with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Scott, some dry air has put a fly in the ointment as far as the forecast goes today. Not much rainfall at all near the coast. It's been real quiet, but that's about to change uh, as we are starting to see some showers and some thunderstorms rotating around this weak area of low pressure. It continues to work on shore. A large area of heavy rainfall developing just to the southwest of the Sun Coast. It's all moving to the northeast. Should be on our doorstep sometime after 515, 530 on Siesta Key and Longboat Key. And also inland storms are really starting to fire up. We'll have the details on all this coming up in just a few minutes. Stick around. Keep up with the Sun Coast. Watch your favorite ABC7 shows on your streaming device. Everything all right? Actually, you know how Tom had knee surgery? Sure. We found out Brad's been taking his painkillers. It turns out he's been doing it for a while. Most people don't know what to say about drugs, but we do. Visit us at drugfree.org. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was. I can tell you that you will not find a finer, more professional team of clinicians anywhere in the world. When it comes to drinking, what do you think moderation is? The U.S. Dietary Guidelines define moderation as up to one drink a day for women and up to two drinks a day for men. So what's a drink? The guidelines say a drink equals 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or a cocktail with 1.5 ounces of distilled spirits. Each contains the same amount of alcohol. Like to learn more? Visit drinkinmoderation.org. It's not how tall you are, but the size of your heart that counts. That's the message of Stuart Little, now playing at the Venice Theater. The show's great for all ages, a fun way to celebrate the end of the school year. And we welcome Stefan Macklin, the choreography, uh, choreographer of the Venice Theater, Stuart Little. And I have to mention that this studio is full of mice <laughs> right now. So watch around you. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Now you're the Thank choreographer. You. Yes. Tell me about the show. Oh, the show is amazing. It's about this ordinary mouse who's born into this human family and he goes on these huge adventures and he finds out that it's only the size of your heart that matters. Oh, what are yes. some of the adventures? So one of my favorite adventures is that Stuart's on a quest to find his best friend Margolo. And so on this quest, he runs into a superintendent of the school district. And the superintendent's going crazy trying to figure out who he's going to find to sub one of his classes. So he goes, oh, Stuart, why don't you do it? And Stuart goes, I, why not? I want to do it. So he goes into the school full of all these regular students, you know, human students, of course, and he starts teaching them. And he's like, wait, you know, the kids are like, what's going on here? You're pretty much a mouse. He was like, wait, it's not the size that counts, but it's the size of your heart that matters. Oh. Um, so it's a beautiful story, one of my favorite parts. What will kids like about this? Um, well, one, it's not just a kid's show, it's definitely a family show. So I think that adults and kids will absolutely adore the show because it's about bringing people together. It's about knowing what's inside and knowing what that it's not just 
what you're saying, but what you're doing as well. That sounds really good. Now we're going to hear from, we have actual Stuart Little here right now. Yes. That of course is Charles Shoemaker and his friend Charlotte Crawley. They're going to sing for us, set up the song. Yes, so this song is Snowbell and Stuart, and Snowbell is the cat, she's the in-house cat. And, and they're technically enemies, because you know cats and mice don't necessarily get along. But in this song, they find some common ground with each other. Oh yeah. boy, we can't wait to to hear them. Okay, guys, take it away. through the 20th, go to the Venice website, venicestage.com, for tickets and information. We'll be right back. The following message is brought to you by mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to mesobook.com. Since 2004, Embracing Our Differences has used the power of art and education to promote diversity. One way it accomplishes this is through its annual outdoor exhibition of 45 billboard-sized works of art, each accompanied by an inspirational quote. Join us in creating a community that is inclusive for all, where differences are embraced and individuality is celebrated. We invite you to celebrate the voices and visions of diversity and inclusion at this year's exhibit at Sarasota's Island Park. There's nothing like this, this trail in Alabama. It just goes from the northern part of the state to the southern part of the state. We see all kind of different terrains, great value and great fun. We've been coming for 18 years. We started off with a group of eight, grew to 12, and grew to 16. And we love it because where else can you get world-class golf courses with world-class accommodations? To be able to play these type of courses in this environment, and the difficulty uh, keeps us coming back over and over and over again.
When ABC7 declares a first alert weather day, it means we can expect major changes to weather conditions here along the Sun Coast. It means it could be severe, potentially dangerous weather ahead. We tell you when a first alert weather day is coming because we want you to be prepared. A first alert weather day is an advance warning. We'll let you know about any changes in the weather when the first signs appear. ABC7 first alert weather, we're here for you. Selfless service is the principle that guides Army National Guard soldiers to be ready whenever disaster strikes. They have a stake in the well-being of the neighborhoods where they live and work. They train part-time to be ready to serve at all times. Selfless service, it's what inspires the men and women of the Army National Guard to be part of something greater than themselves. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more. Thanks to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, what was once impossible is happening today for thousands of patients with blood cancer. I live. I live. I live. I live. I live. She lives. Because of the research done by the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society in the battle against blood cancer. If you had a chance to support the research that is saving lives, what would you do? Well, in case you missed it yesterday, we gave our show the royal treatment. We kicked off our royal wedding week. Nicole Caney decked out our set to kick off this week. You can catch yesterday's show online and you will want to see. The studio never looked better, in my opinion. You can find that segment yesterday and all of our segments on suncoastview.com. And of course, as a reminder, we're airing the royal wedding on Saturday, May 19th from 5 a.m. Set those alarms to 10 a.m. You can watch it right here on ABC7. And then Good Morning America has a special edition immediately following. So set those DVRs to ABC7 to watch the royal wedding. All right, we're going to be heading into the kitchen with Brick Smoked Meats. ABC7 News at 7, weeknights. My credit score was not that great. I didn't understand what went into my credit score. It was overwhelming. Do you want to attain better credit health but don't know where to start? Credit Sesame can help by providing you a free credit score. I love the app. It's so easy to use. It's like having a, your own financial coach. Credit Sesame broke my credit score down into things that I understood and it made me think, I can do this. And the awesome thing about Credit Sesame, it's free. It's 100% free. You don't need to go it alone. Get started today at CreditSesame.com. This is an ABC7 News Update. Hello, I'm Jacqueline Matter. Here's what we're working on for 5 o'clock. New flashless red light cameras are now being installed all across the city of Sarasota. Why there is mixed reactions from Suncoast drivers. In taking a quick look at first alert traffic right now, US 41 in Palmetto is slow going heading north and south. This is, this is right around the US 301 intersection. Now let's get a check on our first alert weather forecast with Bob. Well, it's been pretty quiet throughout much of the day here along the west coast of Florida, but that's about to change as a big line of showers and some heavy thunderstorms is heading towards Sarasota and Manatee counties. It's still a ways off, but uh, should arrive sometime around 545 near Osprey and uh, just before six in Sarasota. Again, this pushing off to the northeast. Some pretty heavy rainfall too. rainfall rates up to an inch and a half to almost two inches per hour with some of this as it makes its way to the northeast. Also some lightning with that. It's going to hold together too. I do believe more at five. See then. Download the all new ABC 7 First Alert weather app now. If you're only hungry for a slice of apple pie, why buy the whole pie? And you certainly wouldn't want to pay for an all-you-can-eat buffet. So if you don't use your cell phone that much, why get charged for a plan that's too big or even an unlimited plan? Luckily, there's still a wireless company that shares your values. Welcome to Consumer Cellular. Our average customer pays about $25 a month for everything they need. Many pay even less as plans start at just $15 a month. You'll get a straightforward bill that's easy to understand with no surprises and all the attention you deserve from our friendly customer service team. No wonder Consumer Cellular has received the J.D. Power Award for highest customer service four times in a row. Plus, if you're an AARP member, you'll receive special discounts. It's easy to switch. You can even keep your phone and your number. So stop paying for more than you need and start your 30-day risk-free trial today. Call 800-457-2317, go online, or visit a Target store today.
got a king? Go fish! In your face, in your face, in your it only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today. There's a lot of fear in coming back to school. I'm a 40-year-old man that walked in there to get his high school diploma. It was very hard for me, but one of the teachers was Miss Araceli. She gave me direction. Every single time I had a question, she'll put down whatever she's doing, and she'll sit there with you until you get it. 50% of getting your high school diploma is walking through those doors. The other 50% is doing the work. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Wednesday at 4 on Suncoast View. Just because a wedding isn't royal doesn't mean you can slack on your manners. We have an etiquette expert coming in to show us some tips on how to be our fanciest selves when out at events. Weddings mean wedding diets, but you don't have to dread weight loss. We'll get a special workout Wednesday as we learn to tone our arms. Pretty good for those wedding dresses, I hear. Plus, a royal edition of Suncoast for Sale that even features a local castle. And Chef Judy celebrates barbecue month in the kitchen. Welcome back. We're here with Stephen from Brick Smoke Meats. And what are we making today? Uh, today we're making a fantastic appetizer that we do at the restaurant. It's also a side item that we have called our Lone Star Caviar. Mm. Very simple ingredients, super easy to make. But we're going to start by making the dressing here first. Okay. So I'm going to put these in if you don't mind yeah, mixing them up. Absolutely. We have uh, a little bit of concentrated uh, lime juice, like a limeade okay. that you would get at the store. We got some water. We're going to have... Uh, about a quarter cup of sugar uh -huh. in there. Mm. All, right. All right. It gets uh, whatever kind of oil you like to cook with at home, olive, canola, vegetable oil in there. How much? That was kind of a lot, but that's the main dressing <laughs> part of it, right? And we should say that the Fresh caviar lime juice. is in quotes because this is more of a right. side for barbecue. Right, right. There's, there's no, no, there's yeah. no <laughs> eggs in here. <laughs> Apple cider vinegar. Oh, that's really healthy for you. All right. Citrus ponzu, which you can pick up at Publix in the soy sauce aisle in the international section. It's a soy sauce that's lightened with a little bit of um, uh, citrus juice. And then you're going to put some salt in there and give that a good whisk. Okay. All right. All right. And then over yeah. here, we're going to combine all of the, uh, the dry ingredients, okay. as we say. So go ahead and start with these black beans in that big bowl there. I thought that was the caviar. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's uh, summertime in the south, so we're going to do some uh, oh, black eyed peas. I'm from Atlanta. Get yourself some jalapenos and throw them on the grill and dice them up and Ooh, take the seeds out. Okay. Get yourself okay. some uh, fresh Florida sweet corn. It's summertime oh, again, so good. grill that and then uh, it put first. it in niblets and then put okay. it in there. Pepidoo the peppers. If you can't find those, just get some pickled cherry peppers. Some chopped cilantro. Chopped cilantro, in it goes. Diced red onions. That's what, fourth of a cup? Yeah, about. Scallions. Scallions. About a quarter of a cup of those. You're gonna two teaspoons of salt. We've got a lot of stuff in here. You got a lot. That's why we're moving fast. <laughs> it seems Ooh, that's a teaspoon a lot of, of black pepper. This? Yeah. Okay. Chili powder. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> Ground coriander. Ooh, a lot and then we're gonna save this. We're gonna garnish on the top. Okay. All right. Yeah. So stir. if you can stir all those together, I'm gonna grab this bowl here and I'm gonna put okay. the dressing in. So this is nice as we're getting into the summer. I know um, it's a great side for barbecue, but it's also nice as a, a, an appetizer. It's a great appetizer, and that's actually what we do with oh, it at the restaurant. Get yourself your favorite chips at the uh, grocery store, your favorite corn chips, and then serve this as a side item. So it's a little bit lighter, a little bit more refreshing. You don't have those heavy items on it when mm -hmm. you're out barbecuing. And that's the reason why I wanted to do this dish with you today is it's summer, you're gonna be having a lot of uh, heavy, uh, rich food. Right. You're gonna have a lot of uh, grilled meat items. You're gonna have some smoky items. This side and this appetizer has a wonderful fresh flavor to it. It's got a bit of acid in there from the two lime juices that we use, and it really helps cut through those smoky flavors. Mm -hmm. So I, I would 
definitely get on something like this and whenever you're doing like outdoor cooking or outdoor barbecues definitely have something that's on your menu that's a little bit lighter right. so you're not having mm -hmm. people want to take a nap in the corner that makes yeah. sense oh, why yes. it's a nice um you know compliment to barbecue i know chef yeah. judy in the past has told us that coleslaw is good for fried chicken because it helps to break down right. some of the fat and that's what you want you another want thing that also flavors. helps is let's talk about some of the craft cocktails yes. here we're going to pass these down to tracy and linda i brought a paloma today in addition to our bricks big red ale and and uh, Paloma's great summer Thank cocktail, you. tequila, lime juice. Mm. Squeeze your grapefruits fresh at home. Don't buy the store-bought stuff. Salt the rim, a little bit of simple syrup in there, mm. and a spritz of soda, oh. and, and that'll make a great cocktail. And real quick, we want to talk about the special ale that you have. You've, you've yeah. had your own beer from Darwin's. Darwin's brewed exactly. for you. Tell us about the right. it ale. I just got it in yesterday after Ooh. brewing for a while. Big Red Ale, named after our Big Red Smoker from J&R Oiler. Darwin Brewing Company, great partners with us in making this fantastic beer. It's got a nice dry finish to it, so when you're having ribs, when you're having brisket, you can drink this beer, and it kind of gets, gets you on to the next part. Uh, and it goes great with the Lone Star Caviar. Absolutely. Well, happy anniversary to Bricks. They're celebrating thank you. all week, and you can be part of the celebration. Big thank you to Tracy from Edible and to Candace from 360 PR. All right, take some time. Enjoy <laughs> the Sorry Sun Coast View. We'll see you tomorrow. Royal <laughs> Wedding Week continues.